In this video, I'm going to go over how you can get better at reading, understanding, and creating your own crew AI projects by using this project in this Google Colab notebook, which I'm going to leave the link in the description for free. So let's get started. Now, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I know that you've seen that I spent a lot of time trying to find the easiest way for you to be able to install and run crew AI projects so that you can start implementing these, using these for your business, for your hobbies, for whatever you need to do so that you can start using agents for whatever use case that you desire. Up to this point, I think the easiest implementation has been to do Google Colab Notebooks. But at the end of the day, even if the installation is easy, you still have to go through the trouble of looking into the Python code, editing it and changing it in order to edit your agents. So I'm going to show you how you can use this project, which is actually just a fake crew AI project in order to get better at reading, editing and just making your own projects. So all this project is, is it has three files similar to the other crew AI projects that we've built. It has an agents.py file, it has a task.py file, and it has a main.py file. So when you run this project at the end of it, you're gonna get this log export that's showing you step-by-step step what the program is doing. So if you're not familiar with reading Python, if you're not familiar with programming at all, it's gonna be good for you to go through this log because again, Within the program itself, anytime you see this line that says print, it's really telling the program to print the statement that says below. And how this is gonna help you is, you're gonna be able to look at a crew AI project, you're gonna be able to run it, and then you'll be able to see the flow of how this program interacts. Now in earlier videos, when I would talk about editing crew AI projects, about editing Python code, I think one of the things that I took for granted was the fact that one, I spend hours looking at this code, so I become very familiar with it, and two, I mean, at the end of the day, working as a developer is my full-time job. So I guess to some extent, I'm a little bit blind to the extent that I've become familiar with looking at code, looking at files and being able to understand it. And because my goal is to get people to use Crew AI, even if they're not particularly technical, even if they don't have programming experience, I think it's also my responsibility to try and find a way to teach people the best way that they can understand code without having to take, you know, a two, three month course on Python. So I'll reiterate again what this project does. This is a fake Crew AI project. Within this Cray AI project, we have three files. We have our agents.py file, which is all of this right here. And just like in a regular Cray AI project, we build out our fake agents. Again, this isn't gonna run anything. It's not gonna search the web. And within this file, we can see that when you run it, it's gonna print out the actions. Here you see this print statement that says, creating a business analyst agent. So when you start running this program, when it gets to this point of creating the agent, it's gonna print this out. And same thing for all these other agents. You'll be able to read the way that the program goes through all the Python code when creating your agents. For this task.py file, as you can see here, you're also gonna get all these print statements that are gonna be printed out whenever again, your analysis task is created, whenever it assigns a task to an agent. And again, just like a real Cray AI project has multiple tasks, so does this pseudo task file. And last we have the main.py file, which again, this kind of like one of the main chunks of any Python project. So you'll be able to see here the flow of when it starts out, and then you'll be able to see a print statement each time that an agent is initialized, each time that a task is called or initialized. So after you spend some time reading these files, looking through all the print statements that basically explain to you what each line of code is doing, once you run your project, here at the bottom, you're gonna see all the print statements in order. And again, this order really just shows how the project is flowing. I know it sounds a little bit repetitive. I know I keep emphasizing the same points, but again, I think this is gonna be very beneficial for you, especially if you don't have programming experience. It might be a little bit tedious, it might be challenging, but it's gonna be super beneficial. And if you're thinking of skipping this step because maybe you just rather take a Python class, well, I got news for you. This is something we did in programming classes, we call it tracing, which is, you know, after they show you some of the basics of what code does, they basically give you a sheet of paper and show you a line of code or rather a few lines of code, and the expectation is that you'll be able to explain what the code does without actually running it in the computer one line at a time. So this is kind of like basically a tracing challenge, but this is all formatted in the way that it would be formatted for a crew AI project. This is showing you line by line, at least for the important parts, what is happening. And at the end of the line, I even marked here which file it's referring to, right? So you'll be able to see here, for example, where a business solutions analyst initialized. You can see here at the end of this line that it's in the agents.py file. And as you scroll through this file, 
you can see that it's not always everything happened in you know the file where it's these files again communicate or pull data from one another i know this may seem challenging at first but i guarantee you once you're able to read through this once you understand the flow of a crew ai project just from the perspective of a python project it's going to make it easier for you to create more elaborate crew ai projects with more agents or more tasks and it's just going to make you that much more proficient in python ai technology and crew ai i really want to thank all of you that have reached out through discord and facebook as well as through my one-on-one -on -one call so if you're having some technical issues with your career AI project or maybe you want to discuss a project that you'd like to collaborate on i offer free consultations so just book a time on my calendar and i'll be more than happy to offer my knowledge and insights for what you're working on let me know in the comments if this fake career AI project is going to help you if you do decide to take on this challenge of reading through this fake career AI project let me know if you found that helpful did it help you at understanding python code a little bit better i'm looking forward to your responses thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one